Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. In the past few weeks, Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife officials have been busy fielding complaints about black bears. And the majority of those calls are reporting bears getting into garbage. And uh, that by far is our number one complaint. Any given year, it's probably 70% of our complaints is garbage related. And lots of those calls have been about bears getting into dumpsters in Elkhorn City. Early Saturday morning, one of the residents who lives here at this senior citizen's housing complex in Elkhorn City came outside only to find the dumpster behind me overturned and a bear sitting here. In the middle of this garbage, I'm having a ball. He was slinging bags this way and that way, and um, I, I thought, oh, a bear. Jason Plaxico says homeowners can reduce bear sightings by making sure their garbage is secured in bear-proof containers and by making sure they don't leave large amounts of dog or cat food outside. But open dumpsters can cause even bigger problems. Uh, if you're a business, if you can fence your dumpster to keep a bear out, that not only solves your problem, but it, it keeps from affecting hundreds of other people that may live in the neighborhood. There are at least four major problem areas identified in Elkhorn City, and two of them are dumpsters located near housing complexes. Many residents in Elkhorn City are hoping that the bear sightings are going to stop, but they know that's only going to happen if dumpsters and garbage cans in the city are bear-proof. Elkhorn City Mayor Mike Taylor says he has met with Fish and Wildlife officials and is working on a solution. We have a pan in place right now to fence that, and he showed us like putting the barbed wire, like turning it inside, told us how to do that and all that. And that's what we're going to do to see if we can prevent anything else happening. Again, maybe we can, that they won't come back. But until situations like this are corrected and access to easy meals is denied, black bear sightings are likely to continue. Reporting from Elkhorn City in Pike County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.